We are finally getting this video done. This is about two weeks late. All right, what's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since we've been in this setup, I know. We've been traveling a lot, uh, going to events, going to manga stores, but we're finally back in the setup. And today I have a very uh, overdue video for you guys. Uh, about two weeks ago at the time of this recording, uh, I went to Anime Expo and I got a whole bunch of stuff. Well, not a whole bunch, but I got a good amount of stuff, was able to limit ourselves so we don't bankrupt ourselves. Um, but yeah, we got a bunch of stuff uh, from Anime Expo and I'm here to show it to you. Uh, this is the Anime Expo Hall for Anime Expo 2022. Uh, the first Anime Expo back since 2019, so it was pretty cool and it was my first Anime Expo, so I wanted to make sure that I didn't absolutely go crazy, but I did still indulge a bit. Um, so let's start first off with the free stuff they gave me. Um, first we have this bag, uh, pretty basic tote bag from Kodansha. Um, it has Rimuru uh, from the time I got reincarnated as a slime, and then the quintuplets on the other side of the bag. It's a pretty decent sized bag. Uh, it says Anime Expo on the bottom over here, if you can see. Um, so yeah, was able to carry this around during the two days I went to Anime Expo, and it was pretty useful. So. There's that. Uh, moving that aside, um, let's start with uh, this as well. Um, we got the Anime Expo keychain. Uh, they give it out every year, um, or from what I've heard. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty basic uh, lanyard, not keychain, sorry. Lanyard with the Anime Expo uh, a mascot on it. And it says Anime Expo uh, Cinema Nights and Anime Expo Ontario 2022, which I think is happening soon, so. There is that. Um, and then some more stuff they gave. Um, they just gave this big giant map of the uh, convention center here. Um, so there's that. Nothing too major. And then let's finally get into uh, some of the other stuff that we got. Um, we got a free Demon Slayer magazine uh, from Aniplex. Um, actually not Demon Slayer, it just comes with a bunch of Aniplex titles. Um, so, if you guys can see that, there is that. Um, it does have Licorice Recoil, uh, which is a seasonal that I'm very much enjoying, so that's pretty nice with that. They also gave us an Anime Expo magazine, um, which just previewed all the days of what was going to happen during Anime Expo, and it also came with a map as well, and all the guests who would be there. Uh, pretty cool. Um, used it first day, uh, didn't use it. The other day so there was that and then they just gave me these i guess posters um pretty sure i'm not gonna not gonna use these so it doesn't really matter but with the free stuff out of the way let us get into the stuff that i actually bought um from the artist alley uh and the stalls uh so starting off with a manga i was able to get this from I believe the booth was called Anime Pavilion. Um, they did tell me they're from like the East, I think Virginia, um, which was really interesting considering I wouldn't think there would be an anime shop in Virginia. And they had a bunch of rare manga, rare Blu-rays for pretty good prices. Uh, they had some out of print stuff. And in fact, I was able to get this, uh, which is out of print. Uh, it is the Madoka Magica spin-off manga, uh, Homura's Revenge. Um, and I'm pretty sure this is an alternate timeline uh, from the main series. So this was pretty cool to find. Usually it goes on eBay for around 40 to 35, $40. Um, this is volume two and I was able to get it for retail price. In fact, they were having like a 25% off sale. So I got it for even cheaper and I was able to get it for like 11 bucks, which was really nice. Um, the quality, uh, pretty good. No like scuffs or anything. However, it is a bit warped. Um, and there are some folds on it, um, which isn't too bad considering the price and that it's out of print. Um, I'm pretty sure if I just lay a heavy book on it that it'll just flatten out. Uh, but yeah, overall, that was a great place to look. Um, one of my favorite booths actually in the whole Anime Expo thing. So yeah, Homer's Revenge Volume 2, really good pickup, big fan of it. And let's move on to uh, the art stuff that I got. Uh, it's a lot of Hollow Life stuff. In fact, it's basically all Hollow Life stuff. So, first off, uh, let's talk about the Hitsukuya art. 
um, I was able to get uh, her art book colors for the Hololive English Girls and this looks absolutely phenomenal. I've seen this art of Ame so many times on Twitter and I'm glad that I have it in physical form. I think it was $20 and Hitsu was nice enough to sign it um, on the inside so that's really cool but it just features the EN Girls, um, Kali, uh, Kiara, Gura, uh, Ina, and Ame. And it comes with a bunch of cute art, um, really cool. And it also comes with the acrylic stand designs that she did have there, but I did not get, uh, which is the Hololive EN girls in their maid uniforms or cafe uniforms. Um, so it's really nice. I've seen a bunch of these in um, on Twitter. So it's good to have them physically, like I said. Uh, pretty worth the $20, $20 price point, in my opinion. And then moving on from that, let's go to Hitsu's prints actually that I purchased. So I'm really into Hololive, got into them pretty recently. Um, thanks to my two for online friends, uh, Kyo and Wolfsey, if they're watching this, shout out to them. Um, but first off, actually, let's not start with this one. Let's start with the non Hololive one. Uh, we have uh, this print official from Genshin Impact. Honestly, I just got this because Fischl was my favorite Genshin Impact character when I still played. Um, there's a bit of damage on the uh, top left corner here because I didn't store it correctly while I was walking around the expo, unfortunately. But I didn't know that she would have this Fischl print, so I just got it because it was there was a deal for like three for 40 instead of two for 30, so I was getting a small discount. But was able to get the official print. I don't know if I'll put it up, but it's nice to have. But moving on, we have this print of Fubuki, um, which is really cute. I don't honestly don't watch Fubuki uh, a lot. I've seen her clips. Um, she looks, she seems pretty cool. So the more I get into Hololive JP, I think the more that I'm going to, uh, I guess, see her stuff. And hopefully I like her more. I do know she has a scale figure, which is pretty nice uh, from... I'm not sure the manufacturer. It might be Kotobukiya, but don't quote me on that. But yeah, this Fubuki print, really cool. I do wish that Hitsu did sign the bottom right corners of the stuff or the bottom left because all the other Hitsu uh, art I have on my wall is signed, but it is what it is. Uh, she was really busy, so there was that. But my favorite Hitsu print that I got was this one of Minato Aqua. Uh, Aqua is one of my favorite VTubers. I think she's like top five uh, for me. And yeah, she, uh, Hitsu just released this print before the expo, so I was really happy to see that she was gonna release this, uh, and I was for sure gonna get it. I was for sure gonna visit her booth, but I didn't know what I was gonna get, but I'm pretty happy with what I got, what I came away with. Uh, but yeah, this aqua print, really cute. She has the like, cat ears um, and her typical outfit. And yeah, I really do enjoy aqua. I love her content. I love her Apex gameplay, so yeah, pretty cool stuff. Uh, but the best art print that I got for sure, like 100% hands down. Okay, so during the con, I was looking for Revue Starlight stuff, and I was like, it's a super niche series, but she, there's got to be at least one Revue Starlight artist. And luckily, I was able to find it. Um, here in this frame, I don't know if you guys can see it clearly, um, is a Revue Starlight print of Hikari and Karen. Uh, oh, it's upside down. Uh, Hikari and Karen. Uh, Karen is my favorite anime character ever, uh, honestly favorite character ever, so it's really nice to have an art piece of her, and then Hikari is also top tier as well, so this print was such an amazing find. Um, I was about to leave the artist alley, and then I was with my girlfriend, and she was like, look, they have a Revy Starlight print, so I ran over there, and I was like, yo, they have a Revy Starlight print. I'm pretty sure it was like 15 bucks. Um, the artist um, um, is... I think it's Bam Hat or Boom Hat. I am so sorry if that's not your name, but you are incredible uh, for releasing this print. It's an absolutely beautiful print, and I am so happy to have this. If you haven't watched Revue Starlight or the Revue Starlight movie, make sure you get on that. It is literally my favorite thing of all time. I've seen the movie like eight times, uh, and I'm probably gonna watch it even more. I saw it in theaters, got emotional. But yeah, this print, really good, it means a lot to me, and it's probably my favorite print that I have on my wall and it'll probably be the favorite print I have on my wall until I get another Revy Starlight print. So there is that. Let me move that aside. Um, I also got keychains of some Hololive members and uh, I also got, let's just start with this one, uh, this keychain of Hitsu's uh, mascot. 
I really do like the design of her mascot because of the uh, different colored eyes and it's just really cute. So yeah, we got a keychain of that. I was hoping that the art print would be there of it, but it wasn't, unfortunately. So there's that. This keychain is from Hitsu's booth. But moving on, I don't remember where these keychains are from, but it is of the Hololive JP and the Hololive Indonesia girls, uh, starting with my favorite VTuber, my Oshi, Hoshimachi Suise. Um, in fact, I do have her new album, Overture, pre-ordered. Um, so it should be coming towards the end of July, early August, depending on when CD Japan ships it out. But on the front, you see Suise Happy uh, being her cute self with uh, the apple juice, her axe, and just smiling with the music notes. But then you flip it over and it's Psycho Suise, uh, which is pretty funny. One of my favorite moments from her. So it's cool to have this. And then uh, next, we have another Hololive JP girl. Uh, we have Hosho Marin, uh, who's probably my second or third favorite. Um, I really enjoy Ollie as well, who, you know, spoilers, I have the keychain of over here. But we have uh, Marin here, who's probably my second or third favorite VTuber. Um, on the keychain, you can see she's in her pirate outfit, hearts around her, and she has her boys love books, which is really funny. And on the other side, more of the same. Uh, not as much, uh, I guess difference uh, on the other side she does have the hard eyes um, but it's not as different as the Suisse one uh, but it's still a very very cute uh, keychain and then finally um, we have this Ollie keychain um, yeah I love Ollie she's like top three for me um, but yeah I was trying to find an Ollie keychain uh, not a lot of vendors had Ollie keychains I do wish that in the Hololive booth that Ollie was the representative for Hololive Indonesia, but what can I do? Um, but I was able to get this keychain of her, and I think it embodies her, her character very well. Uh, she looks very energetic on this side, and yeah, she's just super cute, and I love her vibe on her stream, so there is that. And let's just get the last of the Hololive merch out of the way. I got this jacket, this Hololive Holomyth track jacket. Um, features the whole life English girls on the back as you can see uh, yeah this track jacket is really cool I wore it a couple of times uh, before posting this video so it might look a little wrinkled um, but as you can see on the back it says hollow myth and then it has Ina, Kali, uh, Ame, uh, Gura, and Kiara on the back I love the designs of the shirts honestly I need the Gura track jacket but they didn't have it there at the Omo Cat booth, uh, so there's that. And then on the inside, it just says like poly fleece, which is the material Hololive Omo Cat branding. And it also has inside pockets, which I didn't know, so that's pretty nice. But yeah, this jacket looks really good, and I usually wear it with some Adidas pants. So yeah, and it looks really good. Hopefully I can get the Goro one, um, but there's that. But the final thing that I got for Anime Expo, I know it's not a super exciting haul, uh, but I did get this. Um, this is the uh, Madoka Trilogy. Um, movies 1, 2, and 3. 3 being Rebellion and the sequel to the uh, main series. Um, so yeah, we got this and I'm going to open it up right now. Hopefully I don't tear anything. And we will see what's inside. I did hold off on opening this to see if there was anything special inside, but... I'm not sure that's the case, um, but looking at the outside packaging, Madoka and Kyube over on the front. Uh, this is for the 10th anniversary of Madoka, by the way, which was last last year. Yeah, last year. Um, and then on the back, it just says Madoka Magica Movie in a bunch of text with a bunch of uh, witches on the back as well. And then looking at the uh, Blu-ray art, man. This Blu-ray art does look phenomenal, I can't lie. So Mami, Homura, and Nagisa on the front. And then on the back is uh, Sayaka, uh, Kyoko, Madoka, Kyube. And then their soul gems are just floating all around. And when we open it up, we see the uh, black disc as disc one, which has movie one. And then you flip it and it has a disc two, which is movie two. And then finally disc three which is movie three. Um, looking at the booklet, if there's anything special, there is, it looks pretty cool. 
Um, it is uh, some frames from the uh, from the movie, as well as some summaries of uh, part one and part two, and then finally part three. Um, so yeah, this is really dope, and it's gonna go on the Madoka Shrine because Madoka is my second favorite anime of all time. Um, and if you guys have seen the <laughs> the uh, room tour, uh, I have quite the Madoka collection. So yeah, looking over at it right now, I don't even know where I'm gonna put it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the uh, Anime Expo Hall. I know it wasn't too crazy, um, but I did have a great time. My favorite part was just being surrounded by all of this merch and all these people who have the same interests. And yeah, I would definitely go again. I don't know if I could go four days because I didn't even go four days this year. I was kind of paranoid of the whole, you know, if you know, there, there weren't a lot of people wearing masks there, but I was masked up the whole time. So uh, yeah, but I would definitely go again. I don't know, for four days, maybe two. Um, but yeah, it was really cool to see everything there, see all the different vendors. And honestly, I should have gone to some panels, but what can I do? Um, I was there for the merch and maybe next year we'll go to the panels and hopefully they have, you know, more panels that interest me more because I think that was kind of the, the big thing for me. Uh, it was a lot of things that I wasn't really interested in. Uh, not saying that what I'm interested is, what I'm interested in is the only good thing. I understand why they had a bunch of, you know, they had some Kaguya panels, uh, Trash Taste, uh, Demon Slayer panels. Yeah, I get it. It appeals to a lot of people. So of course they had that. But Anime Expo was great. Uh, sorry for the late timing of this video, if you enjoyed it. Um, please don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, turn on post notifications and comment down below uh, what you thought of the video and if you're gonna be going to Anime Expo next year because if you are, uh, I might see you there. But again, thank you for watching the video. We're almost at 2000 subs, which is crazy. And yeah, I appreciate all the support. And thank you very much for watching the video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.